guys, your wish is my command. That's what Jeannie said, right? Uh, in my last Innis Free haul video, I asked you guys if you want me to do a review on this lip gloss, and many of you guys um, said yes and gave me big thumbs up, so thank you so much for that. So today, in this video, I'm going to show you guys all the lip glosses that I got from Innis Free. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand, on my lips, of course. So I wanted to keep my eyes really natural and neutral so you guys can better see the lip swatches but this is what I ended up being like semi smoky this is not all that natural it's kind of natural to me but I don't know it's just it's just as soon as I get a brush on my hand I get so heavy-handed I cannot do anything about it I'm like yeah let's go to town I haven't used any of the products yet this is my first time opening these products so this is a swatch slash first impression video Alright, so let's get going. So before we swatch, I'm gonna tell you guys a basic information about this Innisfree's Fluid Real Fluid Rouge Lip Gloss. So I'm looking at this, uh, their official website, and um, it is priced at 12,000 Korean won, so that'd be about 10 or 11 US dollars. It has a total of 10 different colors. And I grabbed six of them because um the the remaining four colors they were very similar they were almost like identical so i got the ones that are not repetitive um that are only like unique to their own color group i hope it makes sense so these are all the colors that i grabbed and uh it has three grams of the product um and that's it anything else Oh, it says uh, the kind of texture is very revolutionary. It's not like anything else. They have, uh, like, it's not just oil-based. No, 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 no. Many of the lip glosses are just oil-based without any water, but this one has water. That is why it is so glossy and hydrating and moisturizing and all that. So, yeah, let's have some swatches going. All right, so this is number two, Coral... Daisy and uh, first of all I love the packaging I love Innisfree in general so I'm kind of biased but I love their simple neat packaging um, they have their Innisfree writings on it and then when you open it up this is what it looks like it smells good it smells very subtle and good it's not overpowering that's what I like about Innisfree anyways I'm not sponsored by Innisfree in any way so uh, this is what it looks like the applicator this part is transparent and this is that uh, doe foot applicator so I'm gonna put it on my on the back of my hand first it's really like it glides on so this is what it looks like it's a very pretty kind of neonish coral color so let's put it on my um, lips so this is number two coral daisy I like this color I think it's such a beautiful color it can blend into any kind of eye makeup since it's kind of like a darker nudish color it, it shows up like a true coral and then on the lips it's kind of look darker maybe that's because my original lip color is kind of dark kind of stained uh, that is why it, it, it may seem darker than normal people but if you have uh, like kind of darker lip color then I think it'd be a great everyday natural lip color and also the gloss is very hydrating and uh, more moisturizing kind of formula so uh, you definitely need to work with it it's not like with a one swipe of the application you can get the perfect uh, look you just you kind of need to you know um, put in more and then you just gotta work with it you know play with it a little bit so uh, this is number two and I like it next we have number eight um, that's Korean, so you probably don't understand if you don't speak Korean, but that means freshly squeezed clementine juice. Anyways, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on my hand. It's um it's like reddish kind of uh kind of orangish reddish kind of color. This one on the side on your right on my right on your left maybe I don't know so this is uh, the number eight so let's put it on my lips 
See, my original lip color is kind of dark, so. I think it applies better than uh, the number, the number, what was it, number two, Coral Daisy. Yeah, it glides on better. I like this color. It's not anything that I've tried before. Um, it's very moisturizing. It almost feels like it could move around throughout the day, uh, but I haven't given enough time, so I cannot tell you guys anything about it. But it sure is very moisturizing and very like glossy. Yeah, and very smooth, of course. And I think this is uh, way darker than the first one, the number two. It's more like a reddish color, and I think it'd be great for just um, almost like bare eye makeup and just let your lips pop. So this is number eight. Next, we have number nine, Cafe Brown. I kind of already like it because it's it kind of looks like that muted pinkish brownish kind of nude so um, let's put it on the back of my hand yeah it kind of reminds me of that uh, teddy bear bold teddy bear velvet teddy velvet teddy lipstick from MAC uh, this is what it is it's really beautiful okay so let's put it on the lips very very smooth by the way like it just almost, you know, moves itself. That's how smooth, how glidey this is. I love it. I like it. Oh my gosh. Number nine, Cafe Brown. And you guys, this is my favorite so far. I love it so much. I love the color. I love the texture because sometimes even if it's the same product in terms of like lipstick and lip glosses, some colors swatch better and some colors have better texture, just better formula, everything. I don't know what it is, but it just happens. So this is one of those. This glides on the most nicely, the most naturally. It's not like it's going to move around and just kind of, you know, spread out to the lips. It's just, it feels so good. Um, it's such a nice color for every day like wearable makeup and also at the same time you can definitely amp it up and I'm pretty sure you can make it look like Kylie Jenner with some um, other lipsticks. I, it's kind of like muted darkish um, coral mixed with nude. I love it so much. I, I love it. Next we have number one ballerina pink. So I assume it's a really really true pink. This is what it looks like and yes, it is such a pretty baby pink, kind of neonish, slightly baby pink. This is the ballerina pink. This is how it shows on the lips. I like it and um, it's such a true baby color lip gloss and for the brightness of this lip gloss, it doesn't apply that bad because many of the times uh, when lip gloss is just too bright colored, it kind of, the application can be a little crappy. It has to do with the color and the formula but this one isn't bad at all and since my lip, like original lip color is kind of dark and stained, it may look dark but it'll look so much better with you know nude lipstick underneath and I think it'd be a great color for natural makeup or just any kind of makeup it'll be really really pretty with like really kind of BAM Kim Kardashian like dark navy like black eye makeup it'd be so so pretty too next I have number six cherry tart red yeah, it's that red we're talking about. So uh, it looks like a really badass, awesome Russian reddish kind of red. So um, let's see. Yeah, it is. <gasps> wow. This is the red that this baby is talking about. Really, really pretty. Such a true bright red. So let's see is so vibrant and bold you may want to check up your lips 
very frequently because I already feel like I'm having some gloss on the teeth. Uh, the formula again of this gloss is very hydrating and moisturizing so it could move around it could end up being on your teeth so you definitely want to keep a close attention to your lip gloss when you're wearing this uh, lip gloss especially this uh, you know intense color but it looks so pretty uh, it's very glossy so as you can see like you see the see the glow yeah so um, I think it looks so good on short hair because I don't know there's this there's this thing about short hair and bold lips it just screams badass it just screams like a cool girl I don't know but I'm not sure if I'm going to wear this to a party or event where I'm definitely going to be like judged just because of the uh, hydrating formula it kind of transfer uh, to your teeth a little bit maybe that's because I put too much but it kind of did a couple of times already so I wiped it out with my finger so you definitely want to keep close attention to your lip gloss when you're wearing this but you can also wear this in that ombre way that might be a safer way to wear this lip gloss but as long as you don't open your mouth it looks just so cool and the last one in line is number 10 blueberry purple I thought it was people but it's purple anyways see how beautiful this color is oh my gosh I love it already so I saw this at the store I'm like that's mine you are going home with me tonight so <laughs> this is number 10 so let's swatch it on the back of my hand I know I'm gonna love it and it looks really really good hold on let me just put on some more yeah so this is blueberry it is showing up a little more reddish on the ca camera but it's just such a pretty like bright purple like love it yeah so this is blueberry it is showing up a little more reddish on the ca camera but it's just such a pretty like bright purple like love it wow and it smells like blueberry a little bit It's not actually showing up as purple as it is on the bottle but it looks really nice it looks really good it kind of makes your face look very fresh it makes your um, like skin color your complexion pop a little bit and yeah I, I like it a lot like mm. it is purple but it doesn't look purple on the camera uh, but it's definitely purple I love it so um, since I'm wearing orangish eyeshadow, so it doesn't look that cohesive with this particular um, lip gloss, but I think it looks really, really pretty with like minimal makeup. Or if you are wearing kind of nudish, um, smoky eye makeup, like a neutral smoky makeup, it'll look pretty. So I really, really love this color. Um, I don't feel like it's transferring to my teeth. Mm, no. I haven't pronounced anything F, so let's say F. F. No, it doesn't transfer. So <laughs> it's it's better than this uh, reddish uh, number six cherry tart red, I think. So um, overall, this is my application of this Inus Freeze Real Fluid Rouge lip gloss these are all the six swatches everything is pretty much damn good uh, but if I have to pick my favorite then I'll say um, this one that I just put on number 10 this one really pretty and then this one number nine cafe brown I love it I love it I love it I might do some kind of like Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial with this but I don't know uh, but these are the two that I like the most and yeah so for the price I think this is such a neat lip gloss but you definitely want to make sure that you go to the store or check out some swatch pictures at first because these colors all of them are pretty intense they're almost like lipsticks so you want to make sure that the color suits your complexion suits your uh, like the kind of makeup that you do but I love all the colors 
colors, uh, but I love these two the most. So yeah, if you guys have this product, please let me know down below if you like it, if you don't like it, what color is your favorite because I definitely want to know uh, what other people's opinions are. So yeah, um, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon, probably tomorrow, I hope. Yeah, bye!